So welcome to my first official vlog. Today, uh, I just got up. I'm on the way to the gym right now. For those of you who do not know, I actually work in a gym as well. I'm a personal trainer there. Uh, I got some squats today. I'm actually off of work, so just gonna be doing some lifting. So I just started a powerlifting prep. Uh, not gonna be a little series or whatever, but uh, so I just got a coach and we're seeing like my form on everything. And apparently my form on my squats is really bad just cause, I mean, I, I do good with my depth. It's just I don't do as good as I need to because I had a very bad injury on my left leg. I broke my fibula uh, playing football in high school. So, and that was four years ago now. So it kind of, it kind of limits my range of motion when I'm going down because in powerlifting, your your hips have to go, I think, below the top of your knees whenever you're squatting. So it's hard for me to even do that without any weight on my back. So he's trying to see, like, trying to work with me on, on getting a little more range of motion with that. Uh, that being said, he recommended me getting some like heel lifted shoes, platform shoes. So I'm going to be looking into getting a pair of those to see if that helps with any depth. And so we're gonna knock out some squats and some leg accessories today. And then we'll see where the rest of the day has us go. And also, yes, there is something wrong with my nose. Uh, so I would say two months ago, almost now, I got attacked by my own dog. He ripped off my nose and it was three or four weeks before my wedding and my wedding photos, I now have like a, they try to cover it up with makeup and stuff, but it was very, it was pretty bad. It was, I would say my nose looked a lot lighter from the makeup that they put on. So I, I honestly shouldn't have done makeup at all, but it's all right, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I rolled over on my dog in the middle of my sleep and he kind of acted out of fear and yelped and snapped me. So I had to get rushed to the ER um, they stitched it all up and everything, but I ended up having to have plastic surgery. So I don't know if you can see it, but I have a big scar that runs all the way down here. So what they did is they cut out like a football shaped, um, graft out of my skin and they cut it to form to graft it onto my nose. And now I'm still kind of, I still have like a longer nostril on this side. So it looks really bad. But I mean, I'm gonna have to deal with this for about another year, they said, until I can get my color back. The only thing I'm not getting back is that little um, gap, whatever gash this is on my nostril. So you live and you learn. Video uh, is basically, yes, it is a vlog, but I want to show you how I'm gonna do the journey to build my squat. Right now, after my injury, I would say, so the doctors told me I wouldn't be able to squat over 225 pounds, and that was four years ago. Uh, so obviously whenever you tell like an athlete or anybody that lifts weights or something like that, uh, that you can't do something, they're gonna wanna prove you wrong. So uh, I ended up getting to 405 not too long ago. I would say maybe last month it was. It was very uncomfortable because my, my ankle like whenever it's cold outside, it's super tight. So there's a metal plate in my leg with, uh, I think I had eight screws. So it's very, very uncomfortable whenever I do like heavy squats. It just sends like a tingling feeling up my leg. But I want to learn them, I want to get it down, and I have to get them for this powerlifting meet. So planning and hopefully doing it in June, the powerlifting meet, if I can get my form correct on everything. but. So today's workout is gonna be, so we have a low bar squat. Uh, we're doing one set of one rep and the load's gonna be at a seven RPE. So we're gonna do that. Then we have a set of three by eight at a seven RPE as well. And then we have some Bulgarian split squats. Uh, that's three sets of eight. RDL, three sets of 15, and then we got a little side plank. So that's gonna be three sets total, 30 seconds on each side. So the workout, it seems like that was very short, but these actually take almost up to an hour. 
just because in powerlifting, it goes straight from, you know, you're doing heavy squats, uh, like on a leg day, so it gets super heavy. And <clears throat> you're, you're actually using a lot of energy on those lifts. So when I was doing bodybuilding and just working out, um, like doing like a chest and shoulder, or chest and tries day, it would go by like an hour, but I would do so many exercises. I'd feel like I could do like maybe five on each like accessory. So uh, I, I really like the powerlifting style uh, lifting just because it's it's so focused and you're using so much energy and just drive on those on those muscle groups that you're working. So it honestly I can feel it ten times more than I can a natural bodybuilding um, workout. But that's just my opinion. So whatever you like, but I'm gonna take you through uh, powerlifting style training Doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told it if it's all me. Everything is on me, gon' back it up Matter what? Told you I'ma do me, why you hatin' on me? It's not adding up Add it up Told you if it's all me, everything is on me, gon' back it up Now my baby wants to hold me I love my fans, don't need no friends I got my homies Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me I'm number one up on that court I'm Nick McGrady The first one in, the last one out, can't call me lazy Put in my hours, send the invoice and they pay me I need six rings like MJ and Tom Brady I wake up, flex, thumb down that check No drip, this, tell them run it up no sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first, I stretch. Time to run it all. I wake up, flex. Thumb down, not check. No drip, this. Time to run it all. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first, I stretch. Time to run it all. Y'all gon' make me take that trip way out to Europe. I call up Niger, he'll come through in a hurry. Those London boys don't come to play, you should get worried One false move, find yourself, they getting buried Dance with the devil, used to love playing those games Made some bad decisions that brought my mama pain I made a promise to her, swore that I would change I'm on the come up, bet I live up to my name I wake up, flex, I'm down 
notch, no drip, this Tell him run it on, no sleep, no rest Might crash, might wreck, but first die Stretch. Tell him run it on, I wake up, flex Thumb down, notch, no drip, this Tell him run it on, no sleep, no rest Might crash, might wreck, but first die Stretch. So that basically wraps up the video for you guys. Uh, so the big thing I wanted to focus on was hitting accessory movements with those compounds that uh, lifts that we do in power lifting. Uh, they're huge just because those little little muscle groups that you don't know that, that you need to be working, um, like doing some like some rows or anything like that for your deadlifts, it's, it's very key. And I hope you learned something. Uh, like I said, this will be the beginning of my vlogs so there will be more and I will be working on them uh, in the next coming week but if there's anything that you would like me to go over to learn anything like that I am certified in training so you can ask me any questions nutrition anything like that so I hope you enjoyed the video I'll see y'all in the next